I'm going to do a walkthrough of everything that I did to this little old building that I found and renovated it for my first salon. So you see the sign, um, Shea Beauty, uh, with my services that I specialize in, hours and phone number. Thank you to Google Voice, which is free. So let's open the door and let's see. Okay. So I'll start. Everything was completely blank white and there was carpet in here. And I guess I'll start from the walls. This wall is blank white. I watched videos on how to paint stripes. The prep work is what took the longest, honestly. But it did come out a lot better than I anticipated after quite a while. Um, my service signs was a nice Vista print project where you just design it yourself. And this picture I ordered, I'd say about a year ago, it's a hand painted watercolor painting I found on eBay of red cherry blossoms. I'd wanted one for a while. And I had a special frame made for it uh, since I couldn't find one that fitted ex exactly. And then these were very plain. These used to look like this, very plain. And I found some decorative ones, which I switched out. And then the vanity, I found this from a lady on Craigslist. Um, I bought both of these vanities, completely blank. They were old grandmother pieces sitting in a garage. This one I redid. Um, I repainted it uh, black. It was just a poor brown, needed some woodwork, and took the knobs off here, took these off and painted these, replaced these with some knobs I found at Hobby Lobby. And then the mirror I found on Craigslist as well for about, I think it was $20. $20. It was a interesting gold color and repainted that. This is my original salon chair that I've had for several years since I was in school that I bought from Miss uh, Bobby, uh, the salon diva in Overland Park. And I've kept it ever since because it's a really good chair. And come further down, this chandelier I found on eBay. And I bought this about a year ago or so because I knew eventually I'd want to build a salon and it was actually very affordable it was fifty dollars my landlord installed it for me since he's an electrician this table this glass table i found on craigslist as well for a steal of a bargain the seat covers were very plain beige so i took the material off and reupholstered it with fabric that i bought at hobby lobby this wall was plain white and I had originally wanted wallpaper but the order kept getting screwed over so I was left with the choice I painted it red and actually made a stencil the stencils for walls if you order them online are usually about 150 to 160 dollars so I took some that I already had bought one more of the one that I had and made the stencil, taping it together and eyeballing it, testing it out. And then I did the stencil, just started my pattern at the top and worked my way down and kind of eyeballed it. And went all the way down the hallway. And here, I'll turn on the light. This was blank storage. I had nothing in front of it. I had this fabric. For a while, I originally had wanted to build a home salon in my basement and thought about draping the walls that were unfinished, which turned out I could not do that. So I took this fabric and I have a sewing machine, so I sewed it into a curtain to put in front of this to block it off and still keep it nice and pretty. Door trim, everything, all the trim I painted and couple of girls gave me a hand when I first started to help break ground and this is my bathroom as you see I kept 
the idea of the stripes, which it's much easier just to do a partial striped wall. And install these nice shelves, these little cute shelves. And my best friend gave me these LED, these battery operated candles. And they were a little worn at the bottom, so I had the extra fabric and I just sewed some cups, some cuffs to go around it. To, just to give it a touch and tie the theme in. Found this little for Hobby Lobby when they had the 50% sale. And I've had this picture of my beautiful Marilyn for a while. And my vintage Hollywood pictures. Nice red trash can that was cheap at Walmart. This flooring. I did the flooring myself. Installing sticky tiles. Which the hardest part was actually around the toilet because usually they recommend for you to take it out and I did not want to do that. So I figured out how to trace the pattern around the bottom of the toilet and cut it, kind of freehand it by cutting it, um, which worked out okay actually because you can't really, you can't really tell, you know, there's a very tiny gap so it worked. And then mirror, this was just a simple replace of mirror. Add a little bit of cute little hand soap for my ladies. Then let's come back out the hallway. Down the red, the red damask wall. And this little baby, this was, I wanted a hairdryer chair, but they're quite expensive. And since I was doing a vintage theme, kind of tied with the, uh, Japanese spa feel as well. It's two of my favorite things. This is a gossip chair. Uh, back in the day, women would probably have their Rolodex and their old rotary phone sitting on this little table here. And you would sit here when you wanted to talk to your girlfriends and gossip away. And it was, I'm sure it was some color. Uh, I When I bought it off of Craigslist, it was also a pretty good deal. And she had already painted it black, which was nice. I didn't like the fabric. So I added an extra thick cushion on it and reupholstered it and then put vinyl over it to make it easy to clean in case lightener or color ever got onto it. This hair dryer, I bought this because uh, I thought it'd be a good space saver versus having a bulky big heavy bulky hair dryer and thanks to uh, several people who pitched into my GoFundMe page I did a, a long time ago I was actually able to buy this in the chandelier and some of some of the equipment that I needed just to get started this is my beauty right here I bought this vanity. It was not cheap. This was the one thing that I wanted to be special for myself. Um, I had Rockstar Glam House. Uh, Rockstar Glam House redo this for me. She specializes in such things. This is the one thing that I did not want to skimp on as far as price because I was going to keep it for forever. And you see, she did a beautiful job. This was solid dark wood. Very, It was plain. Uh, she definitely gave it a nice facelift and gave this grandmother piece a new life. On the side, you see where she did the tufting and added the jewels, the stenciling. She stenciled every piece of this vanity and did the doors, added the texture, beautiful crystal knobs, the nice drawers, you know, painted in and out which I won't be putting anything in this, honestly. This will not be touched. All I did to this was add in some liner in case I did put minimal things in to make sure that it stayed clean. And This chair, this was another item that was difficult to find at a good bargain, but I needed another chair and a good sturdy one that could hold all sizes and shapes of women but still be stylish. The Victoria styling chair, which I've wanted for years. I did catch it on sale, but it wasn't much of a sale, like 70 bucks. These chairs usually go for uh, like 380 to $450. So I'll have it for a very long time. This wall, my girlfriends helped me paint. It was called Chinchilla, Chinchilla Gray. And I stuck with the beams. I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do with the beams, but after painting, I 
kind of like the black and white contrast. And this wall, a friend of mine gave me a good idea, is actually a chalkboard, which I thought might come in handy when I get my ladies that have a very have put all kinds of interesting things on their hair at home and it's turned into a disaster and a huge color correction. I can doodle on here what I've been using almost like a math problem because sometimes that's what it feels like. And my little laundry basket. This was a Savers thrift store find, $6 for my dirty towels and these cute little shelves. My Melissa Craig, one of my clients, she made for me because shelving turned out to be one of the things that was difficult to find at a fair price. No matter how I looked at it, it was going to be expensive. So she made these, painted them, and stenciled them for me because she knew what kind of a theme I had. Five of them for $30. You can't really beat that. And my John Amico line, which Bobby Sue introduced me to, that's all natural. So far, I like it. And my waiting room chairs, which is kind of difficult to see because of the glare from the window. These were plain red oak office chairs. They were $15 for both of them. And I took them apart, stained and painted the arms, reupholstered the, uh, the whole chair fabric, added vinyl, and tried my own tufting with crystal buttons which you can see here and of course vinyl it's very very old school but in a salon I'm not gonna want to struggle keeping it clean the nice little middle table that was a Hobby Lobby find when they were doing their 50% or 40% off and added some curtains some nice sheer white curtains I had one and found another one to match at Walmart and now you can't see it too well, 